<laughs> uh, he didn't come to the Philly local last week because he was at cost. Aww. Just going all the way out there. Yeah, the whole Tri-State carpool was there. He went with Akashi, he went with mm -hmm. Lucius, he went with Dan's, he went with Giga. And then separately, Uda ended up flying in. So there was yeah. a lot of Tri-State representation there. Kashi and, got fifth at that, I'm pretty sure. And they sure. all died to Zaro, except for Uda. Yeah, that loser's run. Uda was the one who put him there, and then he just yeah. wreaked havoc on all of S&T and Tri-State in the process. Mm -hmm. Taking out MS... I think it was Dan, took out Akashi, took out Giga. MSB lost, I think, Adi for ninth, if I remember. Adi, yeah. Yeah. But beat uh, Kashi, uh, Dan's, and... Uh, Giga, yeah. Yeah, basically took out like the entirety of Tri State's attendance there. All right, I think we're going to be starting game one on Julesville. Oh, they banned that merchant. Merchant, interesting. Uh, this matchup's definitely interesting. I've heard some people say it might be closer to even, but I have the opinion that it's more Absa favored. For the most part, Craig can outzone Absa pretty well with things like Rock and Shards, which may be hard to contest. But at the same time, you eat a lot of, just like that, you eat a lot of damage and get killed off the side very quickly with Absa's fair chains. She does that a lot with heavies. It's kind of yeah. the same way with Edelis. I have that problem with Eliana sometimes, where like, I like the matchup all right, as long as I'm not getting, you know, fared at zero. And that just happens way too often against yeah, a lot of Yeah, that assets. matchup's really, really volatile. Like, mm -hmm. you can just kill because Eliana things, but at the same time, oh, he gets the gravity jump there. Yeah. You still get your jump out of that, which I think he still has. Oh, it's cool, boy. Absa Classic. You can just, yeah. Mm -hmm. Really, really good coverage there. Putting the rock on there because Absa, she can't really challenge that unless she does like a rising up air, which is laggy and might end up, has a lot of, just, you might fall back down. So that, right. putting that at ledge when they know they don't have a jump is really, really smart. Yeah, MSB's got a lot of those little tricks like that. Yeah, he's definitely known for his bag of tricks, especially with his recoveries. It's a staple of his play. He knows all of like, the abs of counterplay stuff. The oldest one of the book being the high pillar to catch up B as soon as they do and they don't have a wall jump. Right. I doubt we'll be seeing any of that, but it's another just abs of trick that he knows. Up air? Ooh. Nice mm -hmm. coverage on that. Akashi has a lead in game one. I wouldn't be surprised if he gets a couple games. The tri state locals have been a little bit. I think he's gotten a couple sets off him actually of, recently. In the, yeah, like since I, uh, since post COVID, there's definitely been a few. I know there was one at a um, PSS like last year. Um. I don't know how their uh, record's been at majors. I think it's been relatively one-sided, honestly. I think Akashi will get a game or two there. Uh, didn't they play at uh, low tide? I'm I pretty think sure they did, and it was 3-1 for MSB. I don't really remember that too well. I remember Akashi being just being in losers. Um, yeah, I think he ended up getting fifth at that. He did. He lost to. A, I know he lost to Sub Serial in Losers. Yeah, um, and he played Zora. I think he lost to MSB in Winners. He probably, beat probably. Zora TK. So I think uh, he went Malo. Zora was on Malo that yeah. bracket. Oh boy. Really good dare catch. Akashi getting game one. Yeah. Very solid start right there. Really good coverage on that. I wonder if MSB jumped. I know a very popular crag habit is that in disadvantage, they'll like air dodge up and jump, but he didn't have either of those. No yeah. resources after that. Still in stun good. from the the side B, and he just gets the dare off that. Mm -hmm. it's good really good coverage. Yeah, the edge guarding really felt like it made the difference, particularly for Akashi. The, the edge guards were just brutal. And I'm curious to see. And this is a weird one because this is kind of just gonna make it's gonna make the ledge trapping stronger. I'm curious if yeah it makes the neutral really really linear as well. Yeah. This is a pretty contested abs stage, I'd say. Some of them love it, some of them not so much. For the mm -hmm. most part, it kind of keeps the neutral just very grounded. It can be very double-edged, but if you know you're more confident in your grounded neutral than your opponent, this is where you want to go. And yeah. I think MSB is just saying that, like, I don't need platforms to be able to beat you. I can just contest you straight up. Ooh, but... Oh, bad, bad DI on that. Just drift straight out on that fair, go straight in the blast zone. He very low percent. He's mistimed um, f tilt DI. And paying a very heavy price for it. Akashi laying a lot of coverage with these clouds, mostly doing a little bit of cloud behind to just catch him trying to retreat. A really good awareness to just wait out that side B. It's not really, it's kind of risky to parry it because MSB might just turn it back around and be able to spade the parry out of that. Just right. jumping over and waiting. Oh my god. Hmm. Incredible double back air. Akashi is on a tear right now. Oh, boy. Oh, my God. That would have catched the air dodge and just be able to just send him right in the blast zone. 
Yeah, you were saying earlier that the set comp between these two seemed pretty one-sided on MSB's Absolutely. favor, but right now, Akashi really He's trying a to... Exactly. So we still got a leg in the game, too. A really good heck check from MSB to stay on. That would have sent him really far off. Yeah. Good reversal, but he's still in it. Hubby's in break, cancel shards, send him up. It's the, best, the best, it's the best way to just be able to contest like a high recovery. Just like send break, cancel shards, whether it's dare or from down smash. MSB's doing a lot of bears at ledge trying to just catch him. And that game too for Akashi. Mm -hmm, and that percent is just like one good starter and you're probably gone. Yeah, I could definitely tell Memus who trying to turn around with like a back air at ledge and just do like a bear down B, for example. He got interrupted on that second one right over there before he got caught with the up tilt up air. Mm -hmm. Akashi's just challenging him straight on with, with his neutral, so I don't think FD might have been the play. And we're seeing Rock Wall, which is a much more, much more killer B killed stage. Yeah, the side blast zones are the smallest in the game, so things like fair chains on both sides are going to be incredibly dangerous. Yeah. Akashi going incredibly deep for a down air there. I think he's he's feeling incredibly confident right now. I I mean, yeah, I don't blame him. I think this is a great no time. I think he's dead. He's dead. Yeah, no air dodge either, so there's no way to gain extra height, even to just try to get back on stage. Like we said earlier, this is it's usually not like this in terms of the set count. Akashi is playing out of his mind right now, trying to make a statement here. Yeah. He's playing very aggressive. He knows he's confident in his punishes right now. He wants to just make him count. See, so you're just tossing the rock right in his face. Great parry with the awareness on that up air. MSB was trying to use those plats in order to gain some extra height and then just be able to punch him out of it. Okay. Oh, great awareness to catch the pillar. I think he's dead for Wait. it. Wait. Oh, the, oh, the Maui Wowie almost connecting the down B into, into the up air. Yeah. Akashi is just going absolutely. He's all over him. Yeah. I've never seen him this confident. Let's see, MSB is still in the set, of course. A lot of pressure at that ledge, but MSB just doesn't, he just need to respect the cloud. Great awareness to wait there. Wonder if he's, yep, he's gonna use the break cancel shards. Akashi parries it. I think he might be almost dead for this. No yeah, pillar. no watch. He's dead. Oh, no watch either. Incredible awareness from Akashi, parrying those break cancel shards, destroying the pillar, and then just catching one. He just goes back to ledge with the pillarless. Yeah. Okay, just kind of wave landing on stage, trying to get something started, but it has been so hard for MSB to really get any big strings going. Akashi's all over him right now. It's tough too, because like you mentioned the fair chains at the beginning of this game, and I was kind of thinking like that could have... <gasps> Ooh, incredible okay. reversal from that. MSB just <laughs> needed one bear to just yeah. turn it around and kill him at 40 after the hit. I guess it can apply to both players. It's definitely been applying more to Akashi, but MSB still has those combos. Like, you know he does. It's just... Oh, that would have literally just cheesed him off the top. Yeah. The pillar, I'm... and then just the rock shard to pull him up, keep him into hit stun. This is... Now it's even. Do or die right now. Usually that just destroys the pillar, but I think he did it a little bit early. Mm, possibly. Up smash. Oh, yeah, not killing on that hit. You'd have to, oh, and wow. he's dead. Okay, MSB takes game three. I think that down B usage there at the end was to try and catch him as an airborne approach in order to force him to either recover low in tech. He did that to try and just hit him out of the air potentially, but Akashi faded back. It would have just been popped him up into a fair, but he does that anyway. We're just landing on the pillar and then just fairing him out of it. Right. So is he going into game four here? I mean, like if you're MSB, you gotta just be relieved that this game four is even happening. Hey, he's the second lease on life here, and he's gonna try and make it count as much as possible. Yeah, I like the Joseph kind of pick from Akashi. I think this is really gonna be able to let him emphasize those vertical kills, because MSB hasn't really been able to get many of those. Yeah, the biggest thing Akashi's been getting in this matchup is just killing off the side with things like forward air. Yeah. And MSB usually is known for getting his fair chains off the sides, but it hasn't been as effective, which is why the rock wall pick until the end worked really, really well for Akashi. Mm -hmm. That comeback definitely gave him some momentum going into this game four. For sure.
Ooh, what? he's catching him a lot. I've seen Akashi parry twice in the past like couple seconds or so. He's definitely losing that momentum, and MSB is just grabbing hold of it. Yeah. MSB really good at catching people with bad parry habits. Oh yeah, it's absolutely a staple in this play. Hmm. Incredible mix up there. You can be able to jump cancel the side B and then just get enough smash out of it on hit. Yeah, super good catch in this game. It's the complete reversal of the rest of the set. Must be taking this momentum and running with it as fast as he can. It's completely in his favor right now. Almost about a three stock Akashi right after just barely closing it out with a comeback. Yeah. Just like that. The, the momentum is completely in his favor. Mm -hmm. I think Akashi really needs to just take a second, ice him out a little bit, take a, take a deep breath. <laughs> I, oh, I'm no, not going to go for it. Just jumping right into... This momentum is incredible right now. Banding Air Armada, tr um, <laughs> Spirit Tree, tree and tree then Treetop. Tree He's confident. He knows what he's doing. Yeah. He used to have a track record of always 3-0-ing people, like reverse 3-0s. Mm. Very much an adaptive player. He is back to the wall, and he just makes it happen. He, he's a closer. Yeah. Pretty neutral stage. I know a lot of apps is like it. A lot of the popular apps stages just have like a T at the beginning. Tru Truple, treetop, tower. They're kind of the same stuff as like what you think of for Claren, too. Yeah, I can see that. Because all those stages are really good for Claren. Um, Akashi's neutral has been a little bit more just like patient and grounded. Oh my god, that almost killed. Yeah, good for DI. For the most part, just kind of like staying in the corner until he got a huge punish out of that. Yeah. Because one thing I know is like I see Akashi go here a ton. Not so much for MSB. I can see that. It's definitely a popular abs stage, not mm -hmm. to mention it's a starter. A lot of Akashi's yeah. counter picks have been starter stages with um, Jules Veil and then now Tower, which are actually really good abs stages. That's true, yeah. Those break cancel shards I mean, on the side beat, setting those projectiles up and just being able to possibly shark Akashi. Now this is Gary, the closet ledge, gonna try to shut him down. Yeah, MSB sneaks on stage, barely, just with the wave land, catches him before the cloud pops. With the rock, you're gonna be hitting from all the way out there and great parry the on the thunder one. Yeah, the shards are gonna prevent parry stuff from happening though. Ooh. There we go, big up air, and Akashi in the lead for game five. Ooh, he puts the cloud there to try and catch possibly a tech in. I know it's a very common thing he'll do at low percents where if he knows his opponent, it might be a tech situation. He puts that cloud there and possibly like dare it or just like come, come back and fair it. Yeah, it's really good for coverage. A lot of these high pillars coming out from MSB, but Akashi just crouch cancels them, and then he has these on plus frames, and he can just hit him out of it with that up tilt there. Game looking really even right now. I think the momentum isn't in one player's favor completely, and as but, I say that... Yeah, right? It's just MSB trying to take this by force. The reverse 3-0 in his clutches. Can Akashi pull back the momentum? We'll see. He's, he's taking it a little slowly. Really good coverage on the drag down there to catch the tech and then just put him off stage, being patient with the edge guards, just putting out the down B to force MSB to eventually have to yep. move. Just like that, last stock. And 0% full last stock situation here. He thinks are definitely... Thunderline breaking the rock there. Really good coverage to not let uh, MSB go out and challenge him. I know those are usually to anti-air opponents or force them to stay grounded to keep him safe. MSB letting that and just holding it, hoping Akashi would just jump in. Not getting punished for it too hard. The MSB racking up the damage. This could be kill percent for Apsa. Yeah, a couple good fares at ledge and Akashi will be dead. Great oh, parry there to catch the up air. Thunderline to combo. Interesting idea, but... <gasps> Fair. Really, really good drift on MSB's part to not get caught there. Yeah, Killer's and... Killer's broken. That was some amazing power placement. He has to just wait it out here. Oh, boy. And they're both just waiting around these platforms. Off smash? No, yeah. he's still alive. <gasps> oh, incredible drop through there. How did that by the Thunderline. Yeah, just I... Just frames away. It looked like it hit, but it just didn't. And oh, no. I oh think no! That's it. 
And no, that's it, MSB out. falling to Akashi. That's the so second the time. popping off. Yeah. <laughs> Akashi going on a run here in Losers. I'm still going on a run. That's really interesting. I actually didn't know that like if you get hit out of a uh, like get hit while in armor, you don't get your watch jump back. No. I must beat out of that twice. Really good coverage at the ledge there. He attempted to go for the side beat to hit the the rock there, which you can use to get your wall, you can get your jump back and then be able to send shards mm, up for pressure. Right. But he ended up missing that. The rock falls on the ledge and then Akashi just waits it out and just cloud kicks him while he's stuck in the armor and he just falls to his death. Mhm. Mm Incredible awareness on Akashi's part there. Yeah. And with that, I think we're moving on to winner's side. Yeah. Next up, ZV and Koda. This is going to be an interesting one. These are two very interesting players. I think these two played at Skyline, and I think Koda won that? I don't remember. I may that was wrong. a long time ago. I'm usually pretty up to date with set counts, but I'm not 100% sure on that one. I'm trying to think of these two have played anytime since Skyline, because that was a year ago.